Welcome everybody to the launch of Notes from Below's uh, latest project, um, a collaborative uh, inquiry that we're going to spend today introducing and talking about. Um, my name is Jamie. Um, I'm one of the editors of Notes from Below. And what we're going to do in this call um, is have, I'm going to start off just giving a bit of an outline uh, of what we've been doing previously. I'm then going to hand over to Lorenza, one of our other editors, who's going to talk to us uh, about inquiry. Uh, and then Sai, another one of our editors, is going to introduce the project. Maybe you've read the call um, that we had posted up. If you haven't, which, you know, no judgment here. Sai's going to talk about it anyway. Uh, then we're going to have some breakout rooms, uh, hopefully get you all introduced to each other, have a bit of a chat about the project. And then Callum is going to talk about our next steps and what we've got planned. Um, if you have any questions while we're going through, do let us know. Um, you know, we want to hear from you. We want to hear what's happening. So we're going to leave plenty of time for us all to discuss as a group. But I just wanted to give a little bit of background to how we how we got here. Um, so we recently finished um, a set of inquiries that we had published uh, as a as a book called From the Workplace. Um, and we were thinking about what we wanted to do next as notes from below. Um, and we've been lucky enough to get some funding from the Alex Ferry Foundation um, to undertake this project to try and understand what's happening with class composition in the UK. Um, for those of you who don't know about Notes From Below or, or, or what we've been doing is essentially we, we run a website um, where we try to publish and share accounts of people's experience of work uh, and also experience of organizing. Um, so we've written uh, inquiries ourselves, we've helped people to write them, we've published other people's inquiries. And essentially for us, the project is about saying there are already people out there who understand work. There are already people out there who are experimenting with ways to organize against work and that we can try to share uh, those stories to help us make sense of our own work and other people's work as part of a project to change the world. Um, so we kind of start from those, those smaller instances and, and accounts. And I see a few people in the audience who've written some of those for us. Uh, but hopefully other people have had a chance to to look at some of them. Um, and we recently celebrated our anniversary as notes from below uh, yesterday. So we're kind of thinking how we can go from a smaller editorial team that is doing these things to something bigger that involves people like you on the call and other people. Um, but what I want to do now is to hand over to Lorenza, who's going to talk to us a bit about the background, the framework and how we how we make sense of these things. So Lorenza, whenever you're ready. Yes, I'm here. Can I uh, just ask if people don't mind uh, to put their camera on so that we know whom you're talking, we were talking to, it's nicer. I find it nicer personally, but if you don't want to, don't worry. Thank you. So um, just two words about myself, uh, because um, yeah, uh, I guess you don't know me. I. Um, uh, I'm Italian. I am both a researcher and an activist. I've been involved on uh, issues uh, against casualization. So I'm uh, on precarious contracts myself as a researcher. I've been in, uh, a precarious teacher in the UK, so involved in the anti-casualization anti campaign uh, in the UK within university. I've been working uh, and researching on precarious labor in India for about 10 years, in South Africa. In South Africa, I've been both uh, active uh, and researcher, so on casual labor. Um, this is about me, so, uh, and this is about my focus. So I would just want to say really a few words about why workers inquiry and uh, then hand over uh, like to, to Sai. So I uh, can see and I know that some of you are already familiar with the idea of workers' inquiry or have been following, participating uh, in uh, Notes from Below activities before. But this is to say, if you're not familiar with it, do not worry. So uh, what is a workers' inquiry? Don't be inhibited if you uh, don't know exactly what it is, because 
uh, it is mainly, or at least it is for us, there's been a long debate of what a workers' inquiry is or should be, but for us is simply a political practice. Uh, that means it's not a standard uh, practice and strictly technical, but it is a way to do like of doing research together for a political purpose. So we can simply start from the point we can work together if we have a political and common objective politically. So that is the most important point. How it works, why is different from other uh, kinds of research. It is research that connects to action and where everybody can participate. It doesn't matter if you are a researcher, if you are an organizer, if you're working in a, a specific sector. Uh, this is a way to put everyone together to connect research and organizing based on the idea that the more we know about a workplace, about a sector, the better we can organize, the better we can strengthen a struggle. So this is the starting point. This to say everybody can participate from different points of view. How we do it depends on the sector, depends on the objectives. The most important point uh, that connects um, the idea of workers' inquiry to that of core research is to decide together what is our objective, what are, are the main questions that we want to respond to. And for this, we tried to uh, write down a few starting questions to understand who's there, who wants to participate and how we can do this. Together, we will, we will understand how. Okay, so uh, yeah, again, uh, this is just to say uh, it is a work in progress. So the whole process will be built together. Uh, we are here because we both, we all understand that in order to build a class struggle, in the UK in a context where the idea of class is constantly reconfigured, is changing, especially in the context of COVID. There have been many changes. We need to understand better and we need to do so on a large scale. So this is what Sai will explain. We want to know from individual experiences to mapping uh, more, to understanding sectors and now this uh, uh, participate to, to these uh, idea of essential sectors, production of uh, value uh, in the UK. So uh, I see that others are joining. I will leave, uh, I will leave the, the, the floor to Sai, uh, but of course we, we will discuss this again. Uh, Sai, please, I'll leave it to you. Uh, yeah, we will discuss later. Thanks, Lori. Um, okay, so hi, my name is Sai. I'm, I'm one of the editors, as, as uh, Jamie said. Uh, and what I'm going to try to do is briefly just sketch out um, the maybe the reasoning behind launching this project um, and our ideas so far about the project. And then we'll uh, move to um, be able to discuss it together and, and start thinking about how to put it in practice. I guess the um, fundamental kind of logic behind all of it and behind a number of things that Notes from Below has already done, I think is a uh, an analysis maybe sounds too grand, but just an observation that um, we uh, are at a, a point of organizing that uh, comes out of might be too uh, um, uh, optimistic, but uh, follows a long period of defeat. And that one of the consequences of that long period of defeat is, I think, a long term break between the left, the organized left, and very large sections of the labor movement and of the working class. And that one of the tasks um, for the left, therefore, and for organizers is to find ways to um, try to bridge that gap in uh, whatever ways. Uh, we are uh, able to uh, to do that, uh, and that that means both organizationally as well as in terms of knowledge. What does the working class look like? Uh, where is it located? What kind of jobs does it do? In what kind of connect uh, conditions? How are people resisting in their workplaces in all sorts of kind of daily ways? What are the the, the difficulties or the obstacles that they encounter in that process, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I think there is a, a, a tendency, and perhaps the people in this call don't so much need to be 
uh, convinced of that, that there is more uh, talking uh, about the working class on the left than actually trying to talk to workers and facilitate ways for workers uh, to talk uh, and to, to talk about their experiences uh, of work resistance um, uh, and organizing. So I guess that's the, the very broad picture. Uh, in terms of how uh, we've been thinking about that or, or, or what we then uh, try to, to uh, um, put in place to address that, I think that the fundamental way is kind of what Lorenza just talked about now, which is the, the idea of workers' inquiries. How do we facilitate workers not only writing about their own workplaces and their own experiences at work, but also being able to use those uh, as organizing tools? And in the last year, we've kind of put out two uh, issues of notes from below that people might have seen. On the one hand, one trying to think about how does the pandemic um, reshape uh, the, the situation for many workers uh, and what kind of light has it thrown on uh, exactly this question. I think it has been um, illuminating maybe uh, to uh, kind of identify, you know, the talk of uh, essential sectors uh, immediately start saying quite a lot of things about what is actually necessary for the economy to continue uh, to run uh, and to function uh, in, in the UK today. Uh, and perhaps those sectors are not that much of a surprise for many of the people on this call, but nonetheless, I think it's worth uh, identifying that. Secondly, we uh, did a project of worker writing, uh, which came out in September, in which 12 different workers in 12 different industries wrote about uh, their experiences at work, their attempts to think through um, the problems that they encountered, uh, and for some of them, how they've moved to, to deal with it, and others, uh, why they weren't able to, uh, right? So um, there was a, a worker in an Amazon warehouse who actually spoke in quite a bit of detail about why he found it very difficult to move towards organizing. So that's also part, I think, of the picture that we need to to, to, to work out. The limitation, however, and that had to do both with the fact that we were trying something out and the fact that COVID happened, which made meeting people considerably more complicated, is that those were individual pieces of writing. Uh, and so they told us something, but that is all they did, right? So they told us about those particular 12 workers, their particular workplace and how they experienced it. I think that's very useful. Uh, I think it's limited. And so this project uh, is uh, more ambitious. I hope it won't be too ambitious, but the idea is to uh, use that method in order to uh, develop a much uh, broader vision uh, of the labor movement. So while I think individual pieces of writing or individual inquiries uh, are of course welcome and would still be great, the hope is very much to think about collective pieces. How can we get workers in the same industry or in the same workplace to start discussing, writing together about uh, these questions? And of course, and perhaps, in, well, I don't know if more importantly, but just as importantly, um, to use those as a basis to organize. Uh, and so that's really the hope of this project is to map out uh, continue this project of mapping out the shape of the labor movement today uh, in Britain uh, and uh, for that project very much to be led by workers in the industries and the workplaces that they uh, will uh, write about uh, and uh, for that to be the beginning of two things on the one hand develop a network of worker militants in different industries that are thinking about these things and to facilitate the use of workers inquiries as a, a tool uh, for uh, organizing. The way we are thinking about it so far, and it might be that people on this call think that's a terrible idea, is to start with these so-called essential sectors, the sectors that have been identified by British capital uh, in the last 12 months as uh, essential for its uh, everyday survival. Uh, and so that uh, the idea would be to start with those kind of uh, uh, areas, um, identify workplaces, groups of workers, individuals, etc., that can start having collective discussions and putting out collective material about those sectors, as well as uh, to spread out. Uh, you know, in an ideal world, uh, we would have different groups uh, of workers, researchers, and activists working together on uh, every single sector uh, in the labor movement. Uh, we thought that that might be 
uh, a big jump to start with. So let's see if we can get uh, those first kind of sectors right um, and, and how we then uh, move forward from there. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I think uh, I'll leave it there. Um, I don't know if I've left anything out that my fellow editors think uh, is outrageous, but otherwise I think uh, hopefully that serves as a useful starting point. Great, thank you very much, Sai. So hopefully that's given you all a bit of a sense of what our ideas coming to this call are for the project, where we're coming from, what we've what we're kind of bringing to it. But what we really want to do now is I'm going to put I'm going to break us into into groups, and we'd really like to hear from all of you about you know what you think of the idea of the project, um, you know where you work, um, you know whether you think you know we've missed something glaring uh, or if you have things that you want to contribute. We have a couple of questions that I'm going to put in the chat um, just to get things started. You know, it's always nice to, to introduce yourself and, and so on. And then with hopefully entirely smooth technical abilities, I'm going to put us into, into breakout groups, um, which is no comment on us having a knowledge of the tech industry at all. An exciting and completely un, un uh, previewed announcement. Okay, basically, so I just stuck a link in the chat, which if you click it, uh, should take you right now to go and join um, what's going to be the forum, right? Um, so I'll explain that. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, good. Um, so I'll explain kind of the rationale behind it. Um, but yeah, if in the background, you can be clicking on that and joining, um, that'd be fantastic. So I think Sai laid out earlier that, you know, the logic of what we're doing here is trying to collectivize inquiries, moves from individual testimonials towards a more kind of comprehensive mapping. We want to, in kind of a grander scale, start to close some of the gap between the socialist left and uh, the working class movement in the UK as it actually exists, whether that be in organized workplaces experiencing fire and rehire or disorganized workplaces or any of these. Um, so we want to kind of, kind of get get involved in that that long-term reorientation and part of that we think that workers inquiry can play a really important role um, to actually link us to the realities of how capitalism is being lived on the ground and in, pe in people's everyday lives um, and I think we, we've heard some really fascinating ideas about how that can be pushed forward from like quantitative work to podcasts videos you know I think there are a lot of ideas here that we can all work on together and that hopefully will um, really drive forward um, the work we're able to do as part of the project as part of that, basically, we were thinking, how do we allow um, this group of people um, to work together to do kind of a collaborative inquiry when there is no opportunity for physical meetings, when we're in all kinds of different places all over the country, when we're probably working on different, um, you know, timetables in work at different times. Um, and what we've done is we've set up this forum, basically, to try and create an opportunity for like quality long form discussion. So rather than just, you know, a WhatsApp group that's like hit by 50 messages a day where everything just kind of scrolls past and we don't have a chance to think about anything. Um, we've set this up to try and create a, a hub for the project where we can do a lot of functions and kind of, oh, invite token invalid, where we can try and do some more complicated stuff. Jamie, the invite token isn't working. He'll, he'll, he'll send us another link in a second. Let me send this on that. Does that work? I think that's just a bitly of the other one. Um, but Jamie will work on this in the background whilst I kind of explain. What we've got set up then is basically a forum where we can get to know each other a bit more. So certainly we all know the people in our breakout groups, but maybe we can um, talk about where we are and what sectors we're involved in and start to draw connections more broadly across the, the project, um, where we can share ideas about methods and approaches um, for data collection, how we can actually start to get the ball rolling and getting together the raw material that we want to analyze. Um, where we can discuss kind of the theoretical approach we're going to take to understand this. So, you know, what are the relative importance of different factors? How do they connect? Um, what's our wider theory of the role of workers' inquiry within a socialist movement? Um, how does how does workers' inquiry contribute to building uh, the class struggle? Um, and then, you know, also do some very practical stuff around helping each other write up or produce material that expresses the results of the inquiry. So, you know, how do we put together people who are going to participate on producing the same podcast or people who uh, can comment on each other's articles. Um, so hopefully that should all be possible if you click through on that link that Jamie's just put in the chat, which so far no one has said the invite token is invalid. So I'm really hoping it works. Um, but basically we'd love to have you all on there. Um, there's an invitation thread that should um, allow you all to kind of say hello. 
and fingers crossed yeah brilliant it's working all right go on that um read the int introduction thread say hello um that'll be where we kind of carry on from here so that'll be our, our kind of structure um i'm sure we'll all be on there relatively regularly um and chatting to each other that'll be where we kind of make plans for the next steps we'll also have an ongoing series of meetings so um, as well as like an, an ongoing constant discussion via the forum, we'll also be having kind of a monthly get together where we can chat about the work, the progress that's been done in the last month, opportunities that we can uh, kind of take, what next steps we might want to investigate, where we can go next with the project. Um, and, you know, as, as we've emphasized, this is a, a genuine beginning where we want to work with you guys to kind of understand exactly how we can do this in the most effective way. Um, and I, for one, um, after the discussion and the feedback we've been hearing, um, I'm very excited to do it with you guys. So yeah, click on that link, join it now. I'm going to carry on going until I'm, I'm going to be like Jamie in the call center before too long. Um, and then, yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be seeing you on there. Awesome. Great. Thank you very much, Callum. And I just want to say thanks everyone for coming along uh, and contributing today. Um, I just also want to make it really clear on the forum, we, you know, you can put questions, you can put resources up, you know, don't feel that you have to put a fully formed thought up there. It's just, we thought during the pandemic, this just gives us, gives us another way to do things. So yeah, really look forward to seeing you all on the forum. Um, we'll send out details of the next meeting. Um, and if you have any questions, we're going to start uh, any questions thread uh, where there are no, no stupid questions, no, uh, no things to be embarrassed about so yeah really great to have you all involved and we'll we'll see you on the forum and see you on a call soon well thank you very much comrades